Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So given this function here, write down its domain. Um, re remember, you, um, you, you can visualize this function as, a, as like a machine here. So, you, um, so, so this function here is like this machine here. And the domain is what you can put into the machine without it breaking down. So, um, so if, if, you, if you remember, you cannot square root a, uh, a negative number and you cannot divide uh, something over zero. So whenever you have, whenever you have this or, or a negative number into here, then it breaks down. You see, if, if, you, um, if you look at this function here, this function is like a machine here. You can put values of x into this machine and then it spits out a number. Now, if you if you put a value where where you make this a um, a, a a negative number, then then this whole bit here, well, if if this bubble here is a negative number, then this whole thing here breaks down. Now, if this part breaks down, then the whole machine breaks down. Um, same with this one here. If you make this a negative number, let's say if you put x to be uh, negative uh, eight into here, okay. If you put negative eight into here. Then it will be one minus, sorry, one plus negative eight. That will be uh, negative seven. So it's like you square rooting a negative seven. This bit here will break down, and then if this bit here breaks down, then this whole machine breaks down. Okay, so 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 the domain is what you can put into the machine that will that will allow well that 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 will not break the machine down. So if, if you put if if you look at this here. If you put, I don't know, let's say, let's say a a three in into this machine here, um, then then this bit here, one take away three will be negative two. So it's like us. Well, this bit here will break down. If this bit breaks down, the whole machine breaks down. Okay. So so the domain is what you can put into the machine that where where the machine will still work. Okay. Well, anyway, given this um, given this function here, write down the um, the uh, the domain for this function. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so the domain for this function, if if you look at it, um, you, this cannot be this cannot be um, a, a negative number. It can be zero, but it cannot be a negative number. So just concentrate, just concentrate uh, on this bit here, this bubble here. So you need this to be uh, x minus so one minus x. You need this to be equal to or greater than zero. Okay, so it's, um, so it's, and then and then also you on this bit here you will also need um, you would need this bubble here uh, one plus x to be um, equal to or greater than than zero here. Now for this one here, let's add x to both sides, so it will be this uh, zero plus x, so so it would be this. Okay, so so you need x to be less than for, for for this bubble here you need x to be less than or equal to one okay and then looking at this here let's let's take away one from both sides so it will be this so for this side you need x to be um, to be greater or equal to to one so what that means on on the number line is while well, looking at this here um hang on let, let me draw the number line here zero one two Three and so on. Uh, this one here, negative one, negative two, uh, negative three. Um, well, for this one here, you need well for this not to break. Um, you will need x to be less than or equal to to uh, to one. So you need you need um, well it would be everything including the one. Okay, everything on this side here will work for for this part. Okay, and then for this part here, you need x to be greater or equal to negative one. So for this to work here, you need this. You see, anything in this bit, in this region here, uh, it, it will work. It will work for this one, but this one breaks down on this side. So basically, you need everything in between, uh, in between minus one and uh, and positive one. So the domain. The domain for this function here, the domain for this function is uh, is is x uh, x to be well well let let's stick to to our normal convention. The domain would be would be uh, would be this negative one comma positive one. Okay, so this here is your domain. 
okay um uh if, if you don't understand things um get look on the internet and look for a graph plotter plotter uh hang on let, let, let me uh get my graph plotter you see if you if you yeah if you don't understand something go on the internet and find a graph plotter and then plot some graphs just to understand what's going on now plot a graph of this here this here is um uh, is uh you see the orange the orange line here represents this bit okay and uh the red line here represents this bit here now because you want to um be, 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 because you're, you our, our function th this function here is represented by this bit here okay um because we don't, don't forget let's let's look at when x equals 0 x equals 0 this part here will will be will, will be 1 okay and then this part here will be will also be 1 so so because our function is get this at this it's like us getting 1 at 1 which takes us to 2 Okay, and uh, and if if you look at let's say one here, well one, uh, this bit here will be will be zero, and then uh, and then but but then this bit here will be one. So so will will be one point something. So anyway, if, if this bit here is one, and then you go to add to to this height here, it will obviously take you to here. And then if if you look at a random a random mark, I don't know, I don't know somewhere around here. Um, our function is up here because you you got to get this at this bit here. Um, so so you getting this bit at this bit will represent this bit here. Well, anyway, my my, my point is that if you don't understand um, if you don't understand something, look for a graph plotter and then and then plot the the two parts and then try and try and develop develop an understanding for yourself. Okay. Um. Well, if also if um if you look at this here. Um, if you want to find out the domain for for this, well, if you want to find out the domain for the whole function here, well, what 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 you have well what you have to bear in mind is that you work out the domain for this one here. Let let's say it's this here. This is a domain for for this part here, and then you work out the domain for this part here. Well, the domain for the whole function would be the intersection of the two domains. I I know I know I'm not explaining this well, but Hopefully, by me drawing this, you you get an idea of what's going on. So, so this this is a domain for this function here. This here is a domain. For, this here is the domain for this function here. Well, for for the for the if for the whole machine to work, it will you you, you can only accept domains uh, or where where it lies in between the two. Okay. If you select somewhere over here, then yes, it will work for this. Um, it will work for this part, but it won't work for this. So the so this bit breaks down. Therefore, the whole machine breaks down. For you to find out the domain of this thing here, you've got to get the intersection of the two. Okay.